Baby, turn around and talk to me, yeah You're my ecstasy, yeah Bochi, my love, baby You're my fantasy, yeah I wanna taste all the chocolate, chocolate, melanin, baby You bust my mind, oh I'll make you mine, oh Hey guys, so we're gonna get started. I have a fresh face and I am going to put on a mask. If I was going to prom, I would prep my skin first. I always do this anyway before I put my makeup on. My face has been dry lately, so I'm gonna use this Cake the Day hydrating mask and just put that all over my face. This is actually a really cute mask. It has like little fake sprinkles in it, which makes it just kind of fun to put on and wear. Um, that just hydrates my skin and then I'm gonna go in with these under eye patches because my under eyes have been dry Like everything is dry Sahara Desert all over my face So yeah, I have to hydrate underneath my eyes so that my concealer goes on perfectly We have no lines and wrinkles all that good stuff. They kept falling off, but you know I made it work then I let that sit on there while I scrub my dusty crusty lips this wet and wild lip scrub is everything it gets all that dead skin off of my lips so that my lip liner and my lipstick goes on very nicely so I put that on and then I wipe it off and my lips are nice and smooth and I do apply some lip oil just to hydrate the lips you know take off my eye patches wipe my hydrating face mask off with a towel and we are ready to go my skin is prepped and ready for makeup first thing I'm gonna do is prime I'm gonna use this NYX NYX I don't know how to say it. I never know how to say it this hydrating honey do me up primer that I love to use as you can see it's almost gone this is a very hydrating primer if you do have oily skin I would use a mattifying primer but I'm rubbing that all over my face I love how this gives me a nice cute glow underneath my makeup so I'm just rubbing that all into my skin Next, I'm going in with the Farsali Skin Blur Primer. This is really good. It helps to blur out your pores. My pores are kind of large in the middle of my face, so I like to put it there and just kind of pat it and rub it into my skin so that, you know, you can't see my pores. We want to be poreless. Okay. So I'm just rubbing that all in with my hands. Then I'm going in with the Varsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have everything in the description box. And then I take my microfiber sponge and dip it in there and just put this all over my face. Honestly, I didn't really like this underneath my foundation. Um, I like to use it on top of my foundation before I put any powder on. Um, this went on kind of weird. It could have been because of the primers that I had on. But um, yeah, you can use any liquid highlighter underneath your foundation and you'll be good to go. Now I'm going in with this LA Pro Concealer and I am correcting with orange today because this is a full like prom special occasion beat and I wanna be beat, 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 beat. So I wanna make sure that there are no dark anything showing through my foundation. So I'm color correcting and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out. Color correcting just really helps so that you don't see any darkness through any concealer that you put down. So sometimes when you put concealer on your face, it still can show those blue or dark tones through the concealer. And I just wanted some full coverage today, you know? So I just felt like color correcting. And all I do is blend the, con the orange concealer out so that it doesn't look so harsh and you can't see the orange through my foundation. Now I'm applying the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations ever. I put that directly on my face and then I go in and blend it out with my microfiber sponge. I love this little sponge. It doesn't soak up any of my foundation, which I love. It just spreads it around and it like makes my foundation look so even. I love it. I've been using it non-stop. And as you can see, this foundation covers up the concealer, the orange concealer corrector <laughs> stuff really, really well. And it this foundation matches me really well too. And I love how it wears throughout the day. And I just make sure that I blend it up into my hairline and I also make sure I get near my ears and down my neck so that everything is matching perfectly. I wanted to slow this tutorial down for you guys so that you guys can get the gist of almost everything, you know? Next is eyebrows. I'm gonna spoolie them up with my little spoolie tool. You can use an old mascara wand, that's what I do most of the time. And then I'm going in with my ABH Dip Brow Pomade and this ABH Little Mini Angled Brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I have a full blown 
eyebrow tutorial on my channel I'll put it right here above my head you can check that out if you want a really detailed tutorial but what I like to do is draw a line underneath my natural brow shape on the bottom and then I go on the top and do the same thing and then I go in and fill it in starting in the middle where my arch is and then kind of bringing the product down and I always go into the front portion of my brows last because I have the least amount of product on my brush then and my brows don't look as harsh now I'm going in with my gloss it's not glossier oh god this is the milk eyebrow product brow gel I cannot I can't think right now <laughs> but I'm just spooling my brows up with that so that my brows stay in place all day long now I'm going in with my LA Pro Concealer in a concealer brush. This is the MAC 212 brush. Very flat, synthetic, nice concealer brush. And I'm just carving out my brows on the bottom. I only carve up my brows on the bottom lately <laughs> just because, I don't know, I've been lazy. So I just carve that out um, just so that my brows look a lot more shapely. And I bring that product down into my lid as well. Um, I'm going to add some more concealer just so that we have a nice thick base for my eyeshadow. I'm just applying that concealer directly to my lid with the applicator. That's why I really love LA Pro concealers because they're thick, thick, thick. And they work really good as eyeshadow primers. And I'm just blending that out with a flat tap eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to go into the Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. This palette, I believe, is no longer available, but the individual shades are. I'm going to go into this shade right here, and I'm using a fat blending brush to apply that right above my crease area. And just blending that out in no specific manner, really. Just kind of going back and forth, just to make sure that the color deposits. I didn't know how this look was going to come out, guys. I didn't even know if it was going to come out good. I was just winging it. So I'm just putting that right below my brow bone, you know? <laughs> Now I'm going in with this shade and a smaller blending brush and I'm going to focus this dark brown shade um, right in the crease area, like right in the socket of my eye. And I'm just going to go back and forth with that color and kind of also bring it up like a wing liner in the outer portion of my eye so that it kind of gives my eye a little bit of shape and definition. So I'm just going back and forth with that, dipping back into that brown shade and kind of, you know, going back in there. Next, I'm going to use my LA Pro Concealer again in the same color. I believe this is Warm Honey. And I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand. And we're going to start cutting the crease. I'm using that same brush that we used to carve out our brows with, the MAC 212 brush. And I'm just going to go in and carve my crease out. Lately, I haven't really been focusing on cutting my crease because the eyeshadow kind of makes up for the line not being so straight i don't know if that makes sense but i did this actually fairly quickly compared to how long it used to take me to cut my crease so i just kind of make sure i get like a kind of straight line when i cut my crease and then the eyeshadow kind of makes up for it and i will show you how to correct it in a second in a second <laughs> so i'm just kind of cutting my crease with the concealer Next, I'm going to go on with this white shade, and I'm going to apply that to the inner portions of my eye, right on top of that concealer. And this is just a nice transition shade for the middle shade that we're going to put down in two seconds. Next, we're going into the shade. I believe it's called Grandstand. This is a nice shimmery pinkish shade, like champagne-y pinkish shade. And I'm going to apply that right next to that whitish, beige-ish color that we just put down. And I'm just going to pack that in the center of my lid. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go into this dark brown shade in a angled brush, the same one we used to do my eyebrows, and I'm going to carve out my crease. This really, really helps. Every time I mess up doing my cut crease, I fix it doing this method. Um, it just kind of makes your cut crease look a lot more put together, even if you messed up. So this is what I do. 
Now I'm going in with this um, black shade and the brown shade mixed together and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and flaring it out towards my temples to give my eyes more of a cat eye feel without adding eyeliner. Because I know everyone can't do eyeliner but I feel like everyone can kind of do this. You know what I mean? So I'm just putting that on the outer portion of my eye with a small, small, small blending brush. And just flaring it out towards my temple so that it gives me that cat eye effect without the cat eye. You feel me? So now I'm going in with some eyelash glue and applying my lashes. I believe these are the Salon 614. Salon Perfect. Excuse me. 614 eyelashes. I'm applying that with a Ulta eyelash applicator tool that you should get because it's really good and it helps you apply your lashes really well. I wanted to add something else to this look, so I'm using my NYX glitter and I'm mixing it with the Lit Cosmetics glitter adhesive. I just mix that together and it creates like a liquid eyeliner. And I apply it with a really, really thin like pencil -y kind of brush from Makeup Geek and I'm just putting that right where I place that brown shade to cut my crease the second time so I'm just placing that right on top and it creates this really really cool like gold cut crease effect that I've really been loving lately so I'm just applying that right right in the socket of my eye actually yeah And I was just checking to see how my eyeshadow was coming out. Honestly, at this point, I didn't even like my eyeshadow. I was like, let me just keep going and see how the look turns out. But I love how it turned out. Anyways, we're going in with my Huda Beauty concealer. I believe this is in the color peanut butter. I can't remember, but I'll have everything in the description box. I'm applying that with the applicator. This is a really thick, like mattifying concealer. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I've used it a couple times, but I don't know if I would uh wear it again again i don't know how i feel about it yet i don't know i'm just so used to like lighter feeling concealers and this huda beauty one is thick 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 okay so i apply my concealer in the center of my face so i put it down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow all basically all over my mustache area <laughs> and on my chin this just really highlights the face. It's actually almost my favorite part of doing my makeup. Um, and then I go in with my microfiber sponge and blend out that concealer. I love concealing um, underneath my eyes because I feel like this part just makes my makeup come together and it gives my face a light okay so I do this and I just blend everything out I really take my time and blend I make sure that I blend from the center of my face outwards and then after I'm done doing that I go in and blend out the edges of the concealer because if you don't your makeup won't look fluid and it won't look like you know one so you just want to take your time and blend out um, the tools that you do use matters a lot so this microfiber sponge makes life so much easier and it just really blends out things seamlessly i'm going in with my laura mercier translucent powder and i'm going to take a beauty blender and apply that powder underneath my eyes and everywhere else that i concealed um, i love this laura mercier powder it's so good it's literally my favorite under eye powder it brightens up the eye and it makes your makeup look so smooth i'm kind of baking today um, yeah, I am baking today. <laughs> so I'm just pressing that powder into my skin. Since this is like a prom or special occasion look, I do want to bake because I want my face to last all night long. So I'm pressing that powder into my skin so that it lasts all night and it stays in place. And it also helps to highlight my face as well, like give it some life and all that goodness so I'm putting that also in the center of my face this just also helps to carve out your face as well just applying the powder in the concealed areas because I don't know I don't know what I was saying but it just looks really nice <laughs> just so that you don't get flashback in your photos use some MSF by Mac I promise you it changes it changed my life okay so if you do get flashback like that dreaded flashback when you take flash photos Please try using MSF on top of your powder, just kind of um, blending it into your 
setting powder and it will really help you not to get flashback and your photos will look seamless. To contour my face without really contouring, I'm going to use this Hoola Bronzer in Toasted by Benefit. They made a deeper shade for us guys and I wanted to try it out and guys, I love it. I love it. I'm using a small setting brush and I'm just applying that in the hollows of my cheek right below where we placed our concealer in our baking powder. And this just really chisels my face. It's warm enough but not too cool to where I look crazy it's warm and like it's like the perfect shade for me and I'm also applying this to my five head because it makes my five head look smaller anywhere that you powder contour or cream contour like this these are areas that you want to not stand out so now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder in medium deep and I'm gonna help chisel out my cheeks a little bit more I'm gonna take a beauty blender dip it into that product and carve underneath my contour this just really really helps to sharpen up that contour slash bronzing that we just did and it just really helps to chisel my face a lot and I love doing it I don't let this powder sit there too long because then I end up looking real drag queenish and I, I'm not going for that look you know so I am just gonna brush that away after it's sat for like two seconds I usually let it set while I'm doing my highlight today I'm gonna use the cover girl highlighting palette this highlighting palette is cheap but it is nice guys when I tell you I haven't put this down I have not put it down like I've been using this as my highlight every time I do my makeup I am using a fan brush and I'm applying that to the high points of my face so like the higher points of my cheekbones um, the bridge of my nose like really places that I want to stand out and where the Sun usually hits also on my temple temples and stuff like that so just kind of using that fan brush to kind of dust over those areas so that you know you get that cute glow So now I'm going to sweep away that powder. I let it sit there a little bit longer than I wanted to, so I really have to sweep it away. I'm going to use some of my MSF and put it on the brush. I don't think I showed it in the tutorial, but I'm just going to use some of that MAC powder and sweep away that powder so that it just looks more like skin. Now I'm going in with my Eye Coal by Rimmel. This is my favorite because it does not leak on my waterline, so if my eyes water or if I cry, it doesn't run down my face. So I'm just applying that to my waterline just so that my eyes look a little bit more defined. Then I'm going in with those same shades that we applied to the eyelid and I'm using a pencil brush and I'm applying that to the bottom portion of my lash line. I go from lightest to darkest shade and I usually keep the darker shades on the outer portion of my waterline on the bottom. I also love and live for putting mascara on the bottom lash line. I feel as though the eyes are like the window to any makeup look. So if your eyes are popping, like you can get away with almost anything. So make sure you do your bottom lashes, sis, because it really makes a difference. Now I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus spray and I'm spraying that all over my face, giving myself a mini shower, you know, so that our face does not look powdery and it looks more like skin. And I let that dry for a sec, and then I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. And I believe this is the NYX Brown Lip Liner, and I'm just using that and um, lining my lips with that. I don't really overline the bottom. I usually like overline the top a little bit to give my lips more of a heart shape on top, and you'll see when I do it. Now I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline lip gloss. This lip gloss is popping tin, okay? <laughs> I put this all over my lips and this just kind of blended 
into the top and of course for shine I have to put some Fenty gloss balm on top because I use that consistently but you guys this look it's <laughs> this look this is a look hold on I gotta change real quick boop, boop. I'm changed yo this look is fire I hope you guys enjoyed this leave me a comment down below let me know if you're going to prom let me know what color you're wearing because I am doing a prom series and I will see you in the next video bye